And there are so many theories about this. We are bombarded with this. We see people talking about the Freemason order, the Illuminati, the international bankers, the Zionists, alien consciousness, even some groups are coming up, satanic type groups, new age type religions, all of these coming up. And what we find in most cases is that all of these groups are worshiping a force. If you go to the highest level of these groups, you see they are doing a type of worship. It is not to God. It is not the God of Moses or Jesus or Muhammad, peace be upon them. It is another force. And they are worshiping this force. They are seeking and taking strength out of this force. And nobody can say exactly what it is, but Muslims have the bottom line. And Allah has told us, قُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقْ وَزَاهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا The truth has come and falsehood will vanish because surely falsehood is a perishing, vanishing thing. The Prophet peace be upon him said, there would come in the end of time great liars, كَذَّابُون, دَجَّالُون to the point where they are false Christs claiming to be false prophets would lead you astray. And they will come to you with a type of speech that you nor your parents have ever heard of before. Beware of them. Beware that they take you astray. Beware that they put you into a fitna, a trial and a, tempta and a temptation. And so the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him did not speak from himself. And we are witnessing today with the advent of the new technology that human beings have the ability to send information throughout the planet simultaneously. We have the ability to witness events here in Australia that could be happening in other parts of the world. In Europe, we could witness these events. But at the same time, we can be confused simultaneously. The whole world can be lied to at once. And they have the ability to twist around, to, to develop, to put together images and sounds, and to develop the story, which although it is not true, appears to be true. And, and, and you know it's not true but you watch it as though it is true and it affects the way you think. And so as the Prophet peace be upon him said, Sadaqa Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam, they will come to you with a type of speech that you nor your parents have ever heard of before. You have never heard this thing before. Sadaqa Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. The masses of the people become helplessly preoccupied. Their lives are now bombarded with a series of cultural events. And these cultural events start to become the most important things in their lives. The World Cup, the Major League Series, the rugby, the cricket, the hockey, the tennis, whatever the sport may be, we see whole nations coming behind sports. And the national heroes become sporting people. Even in Saudi Arabia, even in our own Muslim countries, the national heroes are now the soccer players. Who kicks the little ball inside of a net? He becomes the hero of the nation when people are dying on the ground. But yet we become preoccupied with this. And it becomes a type of indoctrination happening to us. And with the use of powerful music playing on our emotions, with videos now being taken to the furthest extremes in the planet, people's thinking processes are changing. People are now in love with the superheroes, even confused about their own identity, trying to change themselves, change the color of their hair, change their eyes, change the way they dress, change the way they talk on a global level. And then we see drug addiction reaching a point
that humanity has never seen before. And after traveling to over 36 countries, looking at the Muslims and being with them, I have found that in all of the communities that the young people are, are being confused with drugs. It is pouring into our countries. No matter what form it takes, cocaine, LSD, psychedelic, depressants, put you up, put you down, confuse you, but create a false world and give you a false dependence so that you become dependent on the chemical. You forget about Allah. Your God becomes the pusher. Your God becomes the chemical. And so creating this dependency amongst the masses of the people. And then we see lethal social diseases being spread. And it is said that in Southern Africa, and Allah knows best what this really is, but they say that in some parts of Southern Africa, one out of every four people is HIV positive. Then we see the planet malfunctioning. We're supposed to be rising in technology. Our life is supposed to be getting better. But the very planet that is created in order to serve us is malfunctioning. The air is becoming polluted. The water is becoming polluted. The animals are dying. They are cutting down the rainforests. They are destroying forms of life. And now we are getting strange forms of cancer. Other diseases, other lumps and, and tumors and things popping up in our bodies that we have never seen before. And it's happening all over the planet. The world changes. Those who are connected to the electronic technology are put into a state of fear. And images are being placed in front of their eyes as the images were before. And these images are connected to the geopolitical situation. Don't be fooled. And we, the innocent people, trying to look at the world and trying to understand what is going on. We see everything is moving toward one world state, one world police force, one world bank, and one world unelected elite that rules over us not based upon the will of the people or democracy, but rules over because of control of the bank control of the economy and the flow of the money, which is changing every day, changing from gold and silver to paper to plastic. And now they are trying out chips. They're putting chips in somebody's head. They tried it in Florida. And if you can take anything from me, don't ever let anybody put a chip inside of you. Don't let them do it to you. Man. A microchip. And they say, no, it can do you a lot of good. If, you have, if you're diabetic, it will say you're diabetic. But the problem we're facing is, what else can happen with that chip? What else can be done to the chip? Your emotions could be controlled. Your mind could be controlled. You could even be killed. Well, billah. And so the Quran and the, and the Hadith, the revelation gives the Muslim the bottom line. And we need to work from the bottom line up instead of from the confusion to the bottom line. And when we go to the bottom line, we find that the Quran talks about in the beginning of time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created the creations and then he created Adam alayhi salam. And he turned to his angels and amongst the angels was a jinni named Iblis. May Allah protect us from him. There was a jinni amongst them who was so pious and so knowledgeable, he was given a place with the angels. The angels could not disobey Allah. And so Allah told them in the, in the oft-repeated verses, Usjudu li Adam fasajadu illa Iblis. He told them, bow down to Adam. And all of them bow down is except Iblis. And Surah Al-Kahf told us, Kana min al-jinn. He was jinni. He was not a fallen angel. 